viewers and subscribers welcome back on this platform bvi channel one where truth is the gospel we preach my people i came across a video though i wasn't surprised seeing that video because that's not the first time we've seen such videos about the son of sokoto state deputy governor as i was told stashing off bundles of cash it was caught in a video they did by themselves you could have watched i'll be right back <laughs> you see amabi good this is not the first time you're seeing this kind of video i'm sure because we've seen them turn abuja the capital city into um the highways the streets for fast car race we out g700 bentley ferrari lamborghini aston martin Marshall. We out, we out. G seven hundred. Lai lai la la. This is good. We've seen them throw up cash in the public. We sit down right on private jets with heavy security details. We know how much it will cost to maintain. These are people who do not have 
any traceable source of income. People who do not have any business. Their only business and source of income is that they are sons or daughters or children, as you may call it, of the elites from the north. Corrupt political leaders from the north. Either the governors, their deputies, their public servants, political appointees, we've seen their children display wealth. And for one day, EACC never invited them. EFCC have never questioned any one of them. But Obi Kubana, a young man that has traceable businesses that he ran from the scratch and built what is called today a multi-billion empire. Now that kind of people, EFCC, they, they invite or arrest for questioning about their source of wealth or about whatever they call financial crime. They said they arrested him, I mean Obi Kubana, or invited him, accusing him of money laundering. I believe the stashing away of this raw cash you are seeing now, perhaps which will be transported in one of the private jets by these people whom who do not have any business whatsoever, who have nobody they are paying as employ, employee. In fact, I am going to conclude this video because I don't want to talk too much. That it is a crime to be an evil man in Nigeria. And it is a more bigger crime to be a successful evil man in Nigeria. Write it down anywhere. As if I said it, we've been saying it, and you are all witness to it. And tomorrow you ask me why our people are agitating to be free. You see why we just don't want to um, be senseless in our agitation. Just like we have witnessing people doing same their own so-called agitation from the north by modern people in mass and yet being treated with VIP or as VIPs calling them repentant or whatever you call them while we are demanding for regional government is to enable all parts of Nigeria to be free from this impunity of a country called Nigeria I will tell you without mentioning word that even the northerners deserves freedom as much as we the Biafras do from their wicked politicians. These are money that would have built schools, hospitals, put down infrastructures that would take Aramajiris off the streets and give them, give them a meaningful life. But no, they will not. They will start this money away, living from buoyant life in Arab world, in America, in Europe, squandering money that would have transformed their society. Why we demand for regional government so that people like Ade Inka from the north will not say that their problem is me, Chinedo Asozo from the east. Likewise, my people saying the same. Call nobody as a laugh and they let everybody answer their own name and carry their own cross. So that my people will not be undermined. We are progressive people. We have progressive mind. Where things fail, we succeed. But as far as Nigeria is concerned, if you are an Igbo man, it is a crime. 
And this must be brought to an end. My only problem is that some of these big shots in Igbo land still romance the Nigerian state thinking that it will guarantee their safety. That they will be treated better than we, the downtrodden. The day of reckoning is coming. I'm just signing out. And don't forget, I'm just a voice. I've delivered the message. On Yangweziante, Yanoro. Especially the big shots in Igbo land. The so-called. <laughs> okay. Okay. But Milia Gezo. Oya Peloma Awo. Peloma Mbala. I'm just a voice. It is better you listen. Embrace and identify with the struggle to fix our homeland and liberate our people. As much as GGM is promoting and preaching. Support our efforts. You may not understand what we are doing. But time will make you understand that. Stay safe. Drop your comment. Let me have your opinion, my people. I'm signing out. Thank you.